Beep. Boop. Beep. Cyber Monday. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, in keeping with the theme from my last video, Cyber Monday, not actually a thing. Here's an intro. So for those of you who missed my last video, here's a recap on Black Friday. It wasn't actually a thing, but then the people who would benefit most from it said, hey, let's make this a thing, and then they just started saying that it was a thing without it actually being a thing. People were dumb enough to believe that it was a thing just because they heard it was a thing, and then they were just like, oh, yeah, I, I know what that is, let's, let's, let's go contribute. And now, Cyber Monday. Let me give you a brief overview of that. Believe me? Here's proof! Quick side note, as with my last video, all of my sources will be in the doobly-doo down there. According to this article from the LA Times written by Adam Tiskern... Tiskorn... Tiskorn! According to retail law, Black Friday is followed three days later by Cyber Monday. Only it's not. Ellen Davis, Senior Director of Strategic Communications for the National Retail Federation, coined the term Cyber Monday. Why, Ellen? Why? She said the term was intended to signal the start of the online shopping season, with online retailers offering discounts and deals, similar to Black Friday's doorbusters, and not necessarily refer to the busiest single day for e-commerce. Oh, that's why. Something that I found kind of funny with all this was the other names that they considered using before they stuck with Cyber Monday. I thought about calling it Black Monday because, you know, it was Black Friday, and in this day and age, everything gotta have an online version. But us history nerds know that that's way too close to Black Tuesday, which of course is the day that the stock market crashed in 1929 and started, you know, the freaking Great Depression. Then they thought about calling it Blue Monday because of... hyperlinks. Which are blue. Until you click on them, and then they become purple. So if all the hyperlinks are still blue, then I guess nobody's doing any online shopping. But they didn't want to use that because feeling blue or being blue is a pretty common phrase for being sad and depressed. What's with all the depression? So finally they decided to go with Cyber Monday. Beep. Boop. Cyber. Wesley. Davis said though that the cyber prefix may seem outdated, it does give you a pretty good idea of what it is. You know, now that you mention it, cyber does seem kind of outdated. What is this, 2001? You wouldn't download a bear! <laughs> you know, I kind of have to give Alan and the Radical Cyber Gang a break since they really didn't intend for it to become what it has. So thanks, 24-hour news cycle, for taking something and blowing it completely out of proportion, ruining it for the rest of us. You guys seem to be really good at that. <coughs> Pardon me, lost my composure. Let's continue. So the next fact I have about Cyber Monday is, uh... She said the term was intended to sick. Uh, the term. The term. The term. The term. With online retailers offering discounts and deals similar to Black Friday's doorbusters and not necessarily refer to the busiest single day for e commerce. Can I read that like a normal person? But the. <sighs> wow. I.